out last night. Now this is just a recap of the storms. We saw a line of strong to severe thunderstorms. Anytime you see that your primary threat of severe weather is going to be the threat of damaging wind gusts, and that's exactly what we saw, unfortunately, as it moved through Tyler. Now it did become tornado worn briefly through Smith County, and there were concerns at the intersection of 110 or not 110, 155 and the loop. We saw some rotation indicated there, and then eventually that pushed into the northern part of the county, creating some damage in the form of downed power lines, downed trees, and also some power outages as it moved into Upshur County. Another tornado warning was issued for Upshur County into Cass County, and then the storms ultimately pushed off to the east into Louisiana and Arkansas. 70s for temperatures right now. That moisture, it's still abundant, folks, so we cannot let our guard down yet. We are not done with the severe weather threat. 60s and 70s for those dew points. The wind energy is there, too. It's pretty potent. 15 to 25 mile per hour winds being reported at the current point and on future cast. This is the HRRR model. The reason I'm showing this one instead of our in house model that we typically show in house models great for us. It's typically accurate, but it really did not do a good job yesterday. However, this one has a very good handle on the storms that we saw, and it could be that the timing's off by an hour or two, but by one, two o'clock in the afternoon, we are starting to see a few bubble up showers and thunderstorms. This is three o'clock. You can see those storms trying to get their act together, and they will form another line, which will enhance the wind threat as these push off to the east. So definitely something we're keeping our eyes on. The main threat for today will be damaging wind gust and large hail. The tornado threat possible. We see one or two warnings kind of like what we saw last night, but that's not the highest threat. Heavy rain that is low at this point today. We will hit 84 degrees, about a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Better chances near Toledo Bend in deep east Texas. We clear out in a big way tonight and it will be a little chilly with a low around 47. We've kind of gotten used to these overly warm temperatures. We're in the 80s today, 78 Thursday, 80s Friday and Saturday with a couple of showers around. 70s Sunday, Monday and Tuesday with those showers possible on Sunday. Deep East Texas, same trend temperatures in the 80s with that severe weather threat today. 80s through Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday with a few showers and then 70s and 80s Monday and Tuesday. So hold your horses for about 12 more hours, folks. We could still see a few stronger thunderstorms, but we'll be here. We'll keep an eye on it. Yeah. We trust you. You, <laughs> you know what you're talking about, so that's what's good about it. But I mean, severe weather season, it's mm -hmm. in full swing. Is there yeah. any particular like scientific reason behind why it's happening well, every I mean, single Monday? I mean, you think about or Yeah, well, I mean, it's Mother Nature just doesn't like Mondays, I guess. Yeah, like that's us. My, yeah. That's my scientific reasoning. <laughs> but, I mean, the day of the week, that's pretty randomized. But I will say the season of it, Lauren, uh, typically our primary severe weather season is in the springtime because mm -hmm. we're kind of making that transition from winter to summer. So you've got a lot of cold fronts that provides the lift. The Gulf opens up again to that moisture. And then in the fall, it's kind of like a transition period too, which is our secondary severe weather season where we're going instead of um, cold to hot, hot to cold from summer to winter time. So